of Belfast. May I ask you to accept this casket containing the certificate of your election and admission as an honorary Burgess of the city. And may I express the very sincere hope that you will long be spared to enjoy the honours which you have so richly deserved. You swear that you shall be obedient, profitable and true to our Sovereign Lady, Queen Elizabeth II, her heirs and successors, and to the Mayor, Aldermen and Burgesses of the City of Londonderry, and truly the franchises and contributions of the same city maintain, yield and pay with all your might and power with the mayor thereof and with your neighbors, according to your living. You shall worship your... On behalf of the city of London Derry, and as a token of this great occasion, I ask you to accept this, the replica of our famous siege gun, the Roaring Meg. of our city is a but I am sure yeah. Vincent you are now one of us and on behalf of your fellow citizens of London Derry sir I salute you gentlemen, uh, it is a great pleasure to me to become a freeman of Belfast and Londonderry. 
uh, it's all the greater pleasure because of the distinguished company who have come over here to give it to me. Mm -hmm. I thank the Lord Mayor of London for making it possible in so agreeable a way for us to meet here in what is to me, at any rate, uh, a well-known room. <laughs> <coughs> I feel, however, uh, embarrassed by the trouble I have caused. It arises from my need and desire to allow a period of rest and quiet to intervene between my laying down the office of Prime Minister and the resumption of civic duties, however attractive or honourable they may be. I, can I was very glad to see that the Irish Republic has become a member of the United Nations, for I believe the passage of years, I believe that the passage of years and a general broadening of thought will show many points on which we shall be in agreement. On none shall we find ourselves in agreement more than in combating the movement towards communism, which has already ceased to make progress in the minds of men and is only sustained by strong governmental systems in countries where other expressions of human thought are not allowed. These ancient and famous cities should wish to inscribe my name on the list, on their list of freedom, of free men. That is a d distinction which I am proud to enjoy. They are indeed both lists of fame and honor. It is remarkable indeed. We have no reason to look for war, but I am quite sure that if war were to come, we have in Field Marshal Templar a highly competent, a highly competent, a highly competent uh, agent. Belfast and Londonderry had a great share in the war, and to them we owe our routes across the Atlantic Ocean, which alone enabled us to dispense with Cork and Kinsale. Now, it was for that reason that the victorious powers did not hesitate to appoint the place of surrender of the enemy's submarine fleet, to which you have uh, alluded, um, Mr. Mayor, and that this was selected by all the victorious allies as the place where the surrender of the submarine fleet should take place. That, I think, was a signal honor which should be cherished on all occasions. Thank you, in conclusion, once again, for all your kindness to me, and above all, for recognizing the help and inspiration which my dear wife has been to me. During so many years of toil and adventure. Yeah.